Okay, let me give you some more practice. I'm standing on top of a building which happens to be on Mercury. Um, the gravitational pull of Mercury is uh, 3.7 me meters per second squared. Oh, sometimes uh, this is written as this, uh, m slash uh, s squared. Or, um, or sometimes it's written as this, uh, m s to the minus 2. Now, what this means is m divided by s squared. Um, this, what, what this means is a, m times times um, times s to the minus 2. It, it, two things are multiplying uh, together. So so this, remember, from, from indices, when you have minus, when you have to the power of minus, you immediately jump to this. Okay, uh, and then, so basically, this gets multiplied to the top. So basically, they're, they're both the same. Okay, so, so sometimes you, you, you see accelerate, acceleration written as this, sometimes it's written as this. Well, anyway, uh, I'm standing on top of, um, uh, of, of a building which happens to be on, on Mercury. Um, I'm gonna drop a cannonball. Um, I want to know the distance traveled after five seconds. So after five seconds, it will get to this point here. I want to know this distance here. What is this distance here? Okay, so um, maybe sketch your your um, your your acceleration time graph, acceleration time time graph, and then and then sketch uh, the speed time graph, uh, and then and then sketch the the distance time graph. Um, the distance time graph happens to be this, but um, but really the, the important one is this. You can just work out the area underneath the graph. Well, you don't need to do it accurately. Just just do it from from sketching. Uh, so so come up with an equation for this for this line, and then from once you've got that equation, you can you you can work out the distance traveled. Okay. So well, anyway, press pause and have a go. Okay. So um so because because we're on Mercury, this this will be the acceleration. So so our our acceleration time graph will look like this. Um, a T and it, and it will be it will be three point seven okay um, the the acceleration is constant now the uh, the speed time graph will look like this because well when you have an acceleration of um, of three point seven it means every second the speed will increase by by three point seven so after one second this will be three point seven after after two seconds this will be um, this will be well 3.7 times 2. Uh, this would be uh, 7.4. Okay, this would be uh, 7 7.4. And then, well, basically, the, the 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 line for the for the sorry the equation for this line is um, y equals m x plus c. Well, c is zero. Okay, uh, the gradient the gradient is, that, is actually the uh, the acceleration. So so we can use this. And put it into the m, okay. So, so the the uh, uh, the the gradient for for this well, the equation for this line will be uh, y equals uh, y equals three point seven x, if you like, um, or uh, and then we you you can change it to speed equals three point seven uh, times the the uh, the time. Now the time is is um, is is five. So so. What, once you've got your your speed time graph, you can you can work out the distance travelled. So hang hang on, let, let let me tidy this up. So your your speed time graph will look something like this. Hang on, uh, speed time graph. It will, it will be it will be a straight line like this, and the gradient is um, is three three point uh, seven. So this thing here will be s equals three point seven uh, t. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I, I'm going to use it as this. Y equals 3.7x. Uh, for some reason, this this is just um, I, I'm clear with this uh, in, in my mind. So I'm going to use this. It's up to you what you use. Okay. Now you you want to know the uh, the distance travelled after five seconds. So one second is here. Two will be here. Three will be here. Four will be here. Five. Well, after five seconds, what 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 is this? What is the height here? What what is hang on? After five seconds, what is this height here? Well, if you put this five into this thing here, um, 
that would give you y, which represents the height here. So, so the height here, well, you put the 5 into, into here. Hang on, let me get my calculator. Uh, 3.7, uh, 3.7 times 5 equals 18.5. So, so this point here is, uh, is 18.5. So the speed after 5 seconds is, uh, is 18.5. Uh, and then, and then you would times this. So get, get, well, the height here is 18.5, 18.5, and then, and then times the, the across here, which is five seconds, remember, times five, and then, uh, that, that will give you the, the area of the whole rectangle. So cut it in half, divide by two, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna get 18.5, uh, times 2.5, okay? Cause, uh, this 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So uh, I'm just going to uh, times 2.5 equals. So so the area here is um, is 46.25, was it? Yeah, 46.25. So so re remember the area here is uh, is actually meters. It's in meters. Uh, so so to answer this question, um, it would have traveled. Um, 40, 46.25 on Mercury. So a cannonball free falling on Mercury, uh, after five seconds, it would have traveled 46.25 meters. And that, that's the same as you, um, jumping off this building and, and you would have traveled that same distance because the cannonball and you, um, will fall at the same, at the same speed or the same. Well, anyway, next question. Um, this one now, you are, you are now on, on Mars, uh, the gravi uh, gravitational pull on Mars is, uh, 3.71. Okay, uh, I want to know the speed. What, what is the speed of, uh, of the cannonball after 6.2 seconds? So T here is 6, uh, 6.2. Okay, um, who cares if it's not a whole number, remember? When you have your speed time graph, uh, if 5 is here and 6 is here. It doesn't matter if if it's um, five point whatever. You you can just put it once you've got your equation y equals whatever mx plus c. You you can just put it into the x and and then find out the uh, the speed. Well anyway, do what you have to do. Find out the speed of the cannonball after six point two seconds on Mars. Okay. So um, press pause and have a go. So the uh, the the acceleration time graph will look like this. Uh, acceleration time here. Um, it will look, uh, well, the, uh, the, this, the gravity is 3.71. So, so the height is 3.71. Now the, uh, the speed time graph will look like this. Okay. So, uh, this will be y equals mx plus c. Uh, that equals, well, this will be 3.71x. So y, or c is zero, don't forget. So that there. And your, your, um, your distance time graph will look something like this. Okay. And, and, and if, if, um, okay, your, your, your distance time graph will look like this. Remember, this is in the form of y equals, uh, uh, something, uh, it, it would be, uh, Hang on, remember this formula, h equals gt squared over 2. So that, that, this, the equation for this line is actually, g is, um, 3.71, uh, x squared over 2, if you like. If, um, but, yeah, so, so the equation for this, for this line is this. But we don't actually need this. Um, we, we just want, we only care about the speed of the ball after 6.6.2. So we need this graph here, the speed to time graph. And here, you, you just, you just do a, you, you just gotta do a straight reading in this one here. So 6.2, and then it's a straight reading. So it's just going, going to go up here, and then across. So you need to figure out what this, this number is. Well, use this equation here. Put the 6.1 into the x here, and then that will tell you the y. So, so if, to answer this question, it's uh, 6.21 times 3.71. So calculator, clear. Um, what is it? What was that? Uh, 
3.71 times uh, 6.2. 6.2 equals. So the speed here would be uh, three, tw roughly 23. Okay, 23. Um, because we're talking about speed, it would be meters per second to the power to the power of minus one. Okay. So um, so to answer this question, it, it would be this. So this this 23 here is actually this this point here. Okay. So the, so your answer is 23 meters per second.